Good morning, Cowboys Nation. Let's get into the hot takes. There's big news. Ezekiel Elliott is slated to be active for today's game against Philly. You know what, more than any other team in the NFC East, I hate Philly. I think it's my least favorite team league-wide for sure. Other big news, Kellen Moore interviewing at Boise State for the head coach vacancy there. Cowboys could go into this offseason potentially having to replace two coordinators, one in defensive coordinator, Mike Nolan, who's slated not to return to the team next year. Now, with Kellen Moore potentially going to Boise State, we're gonna have to replace him. See when we had all our team, you know, healthy. We were looking at record-breaking numbers. Dak was having a career year, was slated to finish the league, top in passing yards. Uh, that's gonna be a tough, tough piece to replace there in Kellen Moore for offensive coordinator. But let's get into the picks. First pick at the 80,000 Scoville level unit, I'm going with Dalton Schultz having a touchdown today. Dalton Schultz has had over 500 yards this season, four touchdowns on the year, career highs all around, but he hasn't really been a big part of the offense previously, obviously having guys like Jason Witten and Blake Jarwin ahead of him, uh, but despite Witten leaving to go to the Raiders and Jarwin having that season ending ACL injury, Dalton Schultz has really stepped up and I'm predicting him to have a touchdown today. At the 100,000 skull level unit, I am going with a Neville Gallimore sack. He hasn't had that many reps, but Antoine Woods going to IR. I think we're going to see a lot more of Neville Gallimore today out there at the DT, and I think he's going to have a sack today. You know, i got to support my Canadian brother there. So the next pick at the 100,000 Scoville level unit, Amari Cooper over or under 100 yards. He seems to be one of those players that, you know, people say that he tends to disappear certain games. I'm going to take the under here. I don't think Amari Cooper gets to 100 yards that being said i think he's gonna step up make some clutch catches on you know third downs really push the needle for this cowboys offense but i think he's gonna finish just short of that 100 yard mark the next prediction is cowboys defense over or under 2.5 takeaways so in the last two games defense has had seven takeaways you know we're playing against a relatively inexperienced quarterback in jalen hurts although he Seems to have more of a veteran poise than we've seen from Carson Wentz this year. That being said, I don't think the trend is going to continue this week. I think they're going to finish with under 2.5 takeaways. The final prediction for 300,000 Scoville units is Cowboys win or lose. And every time I'm taking the Cowboys win, especially this week, I want to see him beat Philly. But that's it for the predictions. Cowboys Nation, what a game that was. Beat Philly by 20. Always a good feeling when we get to beat the Eagles. So let's get into the predictions. I had an atrocious week when it came to predictions. I think the show went from hot takes to cold takes there. The only prediction I got right was the Cowboys win for 300,000 Scoville units. I don't feel good about the picks I made. You know, I said Dalton Schultz is going to have a touchdown. Obviously, the passing game was huge this week, but it seemed like it almost went to everyone but Dalton Schultz. Then I made the prediction of Neville Gallimore having a sack. Had a half sack. Does a half sack count? I, I don't know if I can count it. Uh, comment below if you think a half sack should count. I'm not gonna count it this week. Then I went and foolishly bet against Amari Cooper. This is one of the worst things you could do. I said he was gonna have under 100 yards and he went off this week, had over 120. This pick really got me. The defense over under 2.5 takeaways. I thought the last couple games, I didn't think that trend would continue. I didn't think the defense was still gonna be able to get multiple takeaways a game. Historically, we've seen Cowboys defenses ranking quite low when it came to turnovers, but the last three weeks, we're up to 10 takeaways now. And then last but not least, I did the Cowboys win. So I'm sitting at a total of 380,000 Scoville units. And I don't think that's fair coming out and getting the win. So I'm gonna up it and I, cause I feel so bad about my picks. I'm actually gonna just have the hottest sauce I have right now, which is the the Hellfire um, Fear This. This is 680,000 Scoville units. I'm gonna have this one today. And I'm kind of switching it up from the chicken wings today as well. If you had a huge Christmas meal like myself, I'm sure you still have tons of leftovers. So I'm actually going the the turkey leg today, so I'm gonna have it off that. I, I don't know if we'll eat the whole thing on camera. Got a shake, get a little dab on there. There we go, got quite a bit. Gonna be 
kind of hot, but we'll see. Holy sh... Oh. oh, that's so hot. No. I'll go straight for the chaser. Red Racer Blonde. Oh. Oh my god. That's, that's so hot. Oh. Um. Oh, oh, it's not getting better. Oh, go on the halo top. This is way too hot. It's just like not, not going away. All right. All right. Now that I've had my nutritional meal of, you know, turkey. Beer and ice cream. Uh, let's just get into the game recap. You know, first drive, penalties, and the Eagles run game really, really killed us. You know, Jalen Hurts looked like he was about to get in the end zone there, but I stepped out of bounds. Ultimately set up the Miles Sanders touchdown. Oh man, so hot still. The Cowboys came back the next drive, but put a nice drive together actually, got into the red zone, fell short, settled for the field goal. Philly comes out and right off the bat just hits a deep strike to Deshaun Jackson, 81 yard touchdown. Cowboys are down 14 to three, first quarter down 11. Then in the second quarter, you know, Cowboys kind of come back. Michael Gallup comes up huge, hit him for the touchdown there. Cowboys have another nice drive, ultimately settle for the field goal, 14 to 13. Cowboys were able to close out the half with another Michael Gallup touchdown. He was just getting open all day, making clutch catches, and they took a 20 to 17 lead into the half. So Cowboys came out hot in the third quarter. We saw that wheel route to CeeDee Lamb and hit him for the touchdown. Just beautiful play, I extended our lead. And this one thing I really want to touch on for the, the second half was our defense showed up huge this second half. Obviously we had three turnovers. You know, we had the Anthony Brown interception right there in the end zone to prevent Philly from getting any points. We saw Randy Gregory come up with three forced fumbles. You know, what a huge game it was for Randy Gregory. And then we saw Trayvon Diggs at the end of the game close out the game by having a game ceiling interception to picking off his former college teammate, Jalen Hurts. Got to be a great moment for Trayvon Diggs there. This was a game where the defense continued to prove that they can take away the ball. This is something we haven't seen in years with the Cowboys defense. Probably since, you know, Mike Jenkins was a rookie corner. I don't think we've seen this many, you know, picks. Obviously, Trayvon Dix becomes the, the first player to have, I think, three interceptions in the season since Brandon Carr back in 2013 or something ridiculous like that. Man, it seems like Mike Nolan be getting it together. I'm still not ready to, to take him off the hot seat yet just because we are getting gutted by the run game still. Look at that opening drive that Philly had, right? Just ran it down our throats and we had no answer there. And it's been pretty impressive to see all these uh, takeaways. And like I said, Randy Gregory, huge game there. Three force fumbles on the day. Ridiculous. Uh, one and a half sacks too to add to that. You know what? I think the future is still bright for Randy Gregory. Obviously had a lot of talent coming out of Nebraska. Uh, we took him in the second round and you know what? I think this is what we were looking towards just to have that impact from him and now we're starting to see it unfold. So huge game by Randy Gregory. Yeah, always a great feeling to beat Philly, especially when you can beat him by a margin of 20. So overall, great game, really happy. But this is crazy because now Cowboys find themselves in a position where they can still make the playoffs. You know, a couple weeks ago, we we're talking about, oh, what, what, what pick are we gonna take in, you know, the top, top end of the draft? No, we have a chance to be in the playoffs. And now I know Cowboys Nation is even more so divided than, you know, oh, we're not gonna win the Super Bowl with the roster we have, we should just tank and keep the top pick. Or you got the Cowboys fans saying, 
you know what? Let's just go for it. Let's make playoffs. Let's see what kind of run this team can make. I want them to make playoffs personally. You know what? I'm not ready for Cowboys football to be over next Sunday. I want I want a few more games. I want to see them go into the playoffs. And who knows what they can do. They look like a completely different team the last couple weeks. You know, Andy Dalton just had his best game as a member of the Dallas Cowboys. Put up 377 passing yards, three touchdowns. Yes, he had the one interception where he got picked off by Darius Slay, but I don't think that throw was even that bad. I think it was just a great play by Darius Slay. I gotta give my uh, tip my hat to the Cowboys receivers this past week. Michael Gallup going out there, having 121 receiving yards, two touchdowns, helped the team climb out of that 11 point deficit that we found ourselves in the first quarter. Amari Cooper putting up 121 receiving yards himself. Then you had CD Lamb who was getting it done all around. You know, he had a receiving touchdown. He had a rushing touchdown there on that sweep at the end of the game. This receiving core is looking nice. We all knew we had one of the top receiving cores and it's starting to unfold. To make playoffs now, we're looking at a situation where the team we just beat and the team I just won on the record of saying I hate the most, our postseason destiny is gonna fall into their hands Sunday night when the Philadelphia Eagles take on the Washington football team. So that's gonna be the Sunday night game in the afternoon. We got the Giants. We gotta take care of business against the Giants first, and then we all gotta turn our attention to the Sunday night game between Philly and Washington. You know, it's gonna cause us to fall quite a ways in the draft. I think getting the guys experience, playoff experience is valuable. I don't think it's gonna matter too much. You know, this is gonna be a deep quarterback draft. I think a lot of guys on the offensive side of the ball are gonna go early this draft. And I think our biggest needs happen to fall on defense. Falling in this draft, I don't think it's gonna be the worst thing in the world to find their identity and to get into the playoffs to build team morale. I think that's more important. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's episode of Hot Takes. Make sure to leave your predictions for next week's game against the New York Giants below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Cowboys Collective out.